Hello, YouTubers. This is Triple Seven Die Hard Forever coming at you with another highly anticipated and highly recommended model as I continue to play catch up. Today, I'll be doing a review on a JC Wings Cathay Pacific Airbus A321 Neo new engine option jetliner aircraft featuring the Sharkers in their current livery scheme in a 1 200 scale model. I purchased this model from Waffle Collectibles and their website address is www.wafflecollectibles.com. But first, before I go into details about this particular aircraft model, please allow me to share with you some information about the history of Cathay Pacific and how they actually came about as an airline carrier. Cathay Pacific is a Hong Kong-based airline that was actually founded on September 24, 1946 in Shanghai, China by the late Sidney D. Cantzow, who was born in 1914 and passed away in 1957, and the late Roy Farrell, who was born in 1912 and passed away in 1996. And although initially based in Shanghai, China, the two men eventually moved to Hong Kong where they formally began Cathay Pacific. They named the airline Cathay, the ancient name that was given to China and Pacific because Roy Farrell envisioned that the airline would one day fly across the Pacific, which actually became a reality in the 1970s. The Chinese name for Cathay Pacific actually comes from Chinese idiom, meaning grand and peaceful state, and after Butterfield and Squire, now known today as the Squire Group, bought 45% of Cathay Pacific, the company officially commenced operations on July 1, 1948, and was registered as Cathay Pacific Limited on October 18, 1948, as the Hong Kong-based airline officially celebrated their 75th anniversary on September 24, 2021. Cathay Pacific is currently the world's fifth largest operating airline when measured in terms of sales, as well as the world's 14th largest operating airline when measured in terms of market capitalization, respectively, as the headquarters of Cathay Pacific is located at Cathay Pacific City, which is located along with its main hub and base of operations that's located nearby on the grounds of Hong Kong International Airport, which is located on the island of Chetlap Kot, which is located approximately 21 miles west of the central district section of Hong Kong Island. Cathay Pacific also has a secondary hub that's located on the grounds of Taiwan Taiwan International Airport that's located approximately 25 miles west of Taipei in the Daewon district section of Taiwan City, Taiwan. And at the time of this video review posting, Cathay Pacific currently flies to 81 destinations in 46 countries and territories across five inhabited continents with an operating fleet of 177 aircraft, which includes 12 Airbus A321neos, new engine option aircraft, including this one here, which were transferred from Cathay Dragon when the regional airline carrier officially ceased operations on October 21, 2020. And in addition to the 177 aircraft that currently operates in the Cathay Pacific fleet, the Hong Kong-based airline also has unfulfilled orders for an additional 25 more aircraft, which includes two more Airbus A321neos, new engine option aircraft, and those aircraft, as we speak, are currently on back order and are awaiting delivery. Also at the time of this video review posting, Cathay Pacific is one of 10 airline carriers along with ANA All Nippon Airways, based out of Tokyo, Japan, Asiana Airlines, based out of Seoul, South Korea, EVA Air, based out of Taipei, Taiwan, Garuda Indonesia, based out of Jakarta, Indonesia. Hainan Airlines, based out of Heiko, Hainan, China. Japan Airlines, based out of Tokyo, Japan. Korean Air, based out of Seoul, South Korea. Qatar Airways, based out of Doha, Qatar. And Singapore Airlines, based out of Singapore, to hold this prestigious honor of operating as a certified five-star airline carrier, according to the international airline review firm, Skytrax Magazine. And the Airbus destination code for Cathay Pacific for this particular aircraft is 51NX. All right, everyone, let's take a look at the front of the box. It ain't much there except what you see there is the scale 1 200 inf model information, the computer generated picture of the aircraft, the Cathay Pacific title, as well as the corporate logo, the aircraft type, as well as the registration ship number. I'm not going to turn this box around. It ain't much, nothing much back there. It's just all orange, as you can see, okay? All right, now you're looking at the actual model stand that came with the model. You see the bottom of the model stand. You see the Cathay Pacific logo, the Cathay Pacific title, the aircraft type, as well as the scale model information at the bottom of the model stand. Then you come up here, you see this black pattern here, folks. 
The sole purpose of that black pad you see on the top of the model stand is, is that pad actually protects your model as well as prevent it from being damaged or scratched when and if you decide you want to put your aircraft model on this particular model stand, okay? All right, now you're looking at the commemorative card that actually came with the model. You see the Cathy Pacific title, the corporate logo. You see the corporate logo right here, the computer-generated picture of the aircraft, the aircraft type, as well as the registration ship number. I'm going to turn this card around and let you see the more information concerning this aircraft. Let's check it out. Now, now you're looking at the other side of this commemorative card, which sees the specification concerning this particular aircraft. You can pause and read that information if you like. In the meantime, I'm going to keep this moving, all right? All right, with all that information out of the way about the history of Cathay Pacific and how they actually came about as an airline carrier and still operating strongly at the time of this video review posting, plus the little details at the front of the box, plus the actual model stand that came with the model, as well as the commemorative card that came with the model and the model stand as well. And since there's no gear replacement doors for this particular aircraft model, with no further ado, everyone, here is the actual aircraft model out of the packaging box. Check it out. There it is, everyone. The JC Wings Cathay Pacific Airbus A321 Neil new engine option jetliner aircraft featuring the Sharklets in their current livery scheme and a 1-200 scale model. All right. Allow me to share with you some information about the Cathay Pacific Airbus A321 Neil new engine option jetliner aircraft and how it became a part of their fleet. We already know Cathay Pacific used to operate only wide-body aircraft. This particular aircraft the Airbus A321 Neil new engine option jetliner aircraft was originally scheduled to enter the fleet of Cathay Dragon as the former regional airline carrier subsidiary of Hong Kong based Cathay Pacific was supposed to take delivery of the very first of 14 of the next generation Airbus A321 Neil's new engine option jetliner aircraft that Cathay Pacific previously had already placed orders for back in September 2017 and was supposed to enter service officially sometime in November 2020. But unfortunately, by the time this particular aircraft was ready to be delivered to its former regional airline carrier subsidiary, Cathay Dragon, the Cathay Pacific former regional airline carrier subsidiary officially had already ceased operations as an airline carrier on October 21, 2020, as this particular aircraft wasn't officially delivered and integrated into Cathay Pacific's fleet, officially until three weeks later on November 13, 2020, and the very first Airbus A321 Neo new engine option jetliner aircraft that actually entered the Cathay Pacific fleet bared the registration ship number B-HPB, which happened to be this aircraft you're looking at here. Then fast forward to over eight and a half months later, and that's when Cathay Pacific's first inaugurated flight on this particular aircraft actually took place, which was on August 4th, 2021, and that's when Cathay Pacific officially began utilizing this aircraft on their Hong Kong to Shanghai Pudong route, which was followed on that same actual day by their Hong Kong to Taipei route alternating with the Airbus A330-300s, the Airbus A350-1000XWBs, and the Boeing 777-300ERs that are currently utilized on these particular routes, as the entire fleet of Cathay Pacific's Airbus A321 Neos are currently based and operated exclusively from the carrier's main operating hub at Hong Kong International Airport. Cathay Pacific has ordered a total of 14 Airbus A321 Neos new engine option jetliner aircraft in which these particular aircraft were supposed to be delivered to Cathay Pacific's former airline carrier subsidiary, Cathay Dragon. But these aircraft, including this one here as well, have since been integrated into the Cathay Pacific fleet. And at the time of this video review posted, only 12 are currently operating in service, while the remaining two are currently on back order and are awaiting delivery, as Cathay Pacific currently utilizes this particular aircraft mostly on their regional routes, as the Hong Kong-based carrier is expected to have all 14 of their Airbus A321 Neos, new engine option jetliner aircraft to be fully operated in their fleet by the end of 2023. Now let's talk about this unique livery scheme you see on this aircraft. This is the current livery scheme of Cathay Pacific, which was unveiled at a special ceremony that was held on November 1st, 2015 on the grounds of Hong Kong International Airport in Hong Kong as the Hong Kong-based carrier revealed a refreshed, updated version of its previous livery scheme while maintaining their trademark brushwing logo on an all-green tail. 
This current livery scheme also incorporates an updated and streamlined logo, a simplification of its color, pa color palette, sorry about that, to actually three colors, green, gray, and white. And the first aircraft that actually begun sporting this livery scheme was a Boeing 777-300ER jetliner aircraft, which bears the registration ship number B-KPM. And at the time of this video review posting, the Hong Kong-based carrier's entire aircraft fleet has actually been repainted in this particular livery scheme. All right. So with all that information about how this aircraft came part of their fleet, as well as the livery scheme you see on this aircraft, with no further ado, everyone, let's get down to the nitty gritty and allow me to show you all the details on this aircraft model. Shall we? Let's check it out. All right, now you're looking at the front of the aircraft here on the port slash left side. We're going to start at the front as always. We see the front nose landing gear here, the landing gear struts, the landing gear door with the partial registration ship number on that nose gear door, PB. See the PETA tubes and static ports, what have you, the radon nose cone. The cockpit windows as well as the windshield wipers. I'm going to give you a better visual view of those uh, details later on in the model review. But more importantly, right be by, beside the uh, L1 entrance door and the cockpit windows is the actual brush wing logo that's displayed right here. As well as, the, uh, yeah, right there. And the previous brush wing logo used to consist of a calligraphic stroke against a green background. The stroke was intended to appear like a wing of a bird. However, as you can see near the nose of the aircraft, the brush wing logo has been enlarged in size and free from the green band that used to surround the nose as this logo can also be visibly seen inside the winglet wingtip device. I'm going to show you that right now. There, as well as on the tail fin of the aircraft. And there, all right. All right, we're, at the, we, we're back at the front of the aircraft here on the port side, and right beside the right side of the L1 door is the One World logo, which is this little logo you see right here. And Cathay Pacific actually joined the One World Alliance along with American Airlines, British Airways, and Qantas as one of the four founding members on February 1st, 1999, which consists of 14 airline members from six inhabited continents. Now, let's check out the Cathay Pacific billboard title, which is right here from 1994 to 2015 the Cathay Pacific billboard title font name used to sit below the windows and now the Cathay Pacific billboard title font name now sits above the windows as the billboard title font is actually the same however the billboard title font letters are now uppercase as well as bigger okay and then now looking at the gray band here which is this right here the single gray band now runs across the lower half of the fuselage, linking the nose with the tail fin of the aircraft. I'm going to show you that right here. It goes from nose all the way back to the rear of the aircraft, as you can see there. Okay. All right. We have the center of the aircraft here on the port side and underneath the wings. You see the nice little landing bogey gears here on the side of the aircraft, including the landing gear doors. But more importantly, see these nice looking massive engines on here. And these are the CFMI LEAP, which stands for Leading Edge Aviation Propulsion 1A 32 turbofan type engines that are actually used on this particular Cathay Pacific Airbus A321 Neo new engine option jetliner aircraft. You also see the engine cones there as well. Now we're going to turn this aircraft model around. We're going to see if the actual fan blades do spin. Let's check it out. All right, now you're looking at the front of the engines here on the port side, left side of the aircraft. We see the engine strikes right here as well as there. Now we're going to see if the front of the, the, uh, the, 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 the fan blades actually spin on these engines. Let's check it out. Oh, yes, they do. Perfect. Awesome. There you go. And then there's the uh, front visual view of the landing bogey gears, which include the landing gear struts as well as the actual landing gear doors. All right, now you're looking at the front of the engines here on the starboard side of the aircraft, featuring the engine strike right here is there as well. Now let's see the fan blade spin over here as well. Okay, perfect. There you go. And then you got a front visual view of the landing bogey gears on the side of the aircraft, which includes the landing gear struts as well as the actual landing gear doors. All right, now you're looking at the front of the aircraft here, in which you're looking at a better visual view of the cockpit windows, the windshield wipers, the radon nose cone painted in the 
the gray band you see there, the front nose landing gear door, the landing gear lights, the landing gear struts, as well as the front vision view of the front nose landing gears, okay? All right, we're still on the port side of the aircraft. What you're looking at is the wingtip device, which is this little uh, winglet right here. And it actually began back sometime in 2009 when Airbus actually came up with another creative name for these blended winglets in which the aircraft manufacturer Airbus decided to call them the Sharpets. As these specialized winglets were designed to enhance payload range performance, resulting in reducing fuel consumption at the same time, as Air New Zealand actually became the first airline in the world to have the Sharplet wingtip devices installed on their Airbus A320 aircraft back in 2012. And then there's the red navigation light right there next to that uh, sharklet wingtip device there as well. All right, we're at the back of the aircraft here on the port side. We're going to start at the top where you see the Squire logo, which is this right here. It's also scripted in Chinese there as well. And Squire is actually a parent company of Hong Kong-based airline carrier Cathay Pacific, whose global headquarters is based out of London, England, who also holds a majority stake as owners of Cathay Pacific. And then underneath the windows there is the uh, the tail fin of the aircraft. No, we're going to, oh, sorry about it. Let me go back and backtrack. Okay, now you're looking at the registration ship number. Sorry about that. Which is B-HPB, which is this registration ship number you see there. Sorry about that. I had to backtrack there for a minute. Registration ship number B-HPB. This particular aircraft is the very first of 16 of the next generation Airbus A321neos new engine option jetliner aircraft that actually entered the Cathay Pacific fleet. And the first test flight on this aircraft took place on November 4th, 2020 and was supposed to have been delivered to Cathay Dragon shortly thereafter. But unfortunately, after Cathay Dragon officially ceased operations as a regional airline carrier on October 21st, 2020, this aircraft was instead delivered to its parent company and subsidiary Cathay Pacific on November 13, 2020. All right, we're at the back of the aircraft here on the port side. And what you're looking at is the tail fin of the aircraft, as the tail fin actually displays an enlarged brush wing against an all green tail. This is actually the very same color green as displayed on the previous livery scheme, but now a color gradient runs along the back edge of the tail subtly deepening the tone of the green background in that area and additionally the brush wing logo actually appears clipped at the back of the tail as you can see that right there okay all right now looking at the back of the aircraft still and what you're looking at is the apu auxiliary power unit exhaust hole there ain't no hole there but that's where the exhaust hole is right here folks and then there's the little bump there that's the strobe light right there as well as the entire aircraft from the rear view angle check it out there it is awesome all right now you're looking at the front of the aircraft here on the starboard side where you see the front nose landing gears the landing gear struts the landing gear door featuring the partial registration ship number on there pb see the peter tubes and the static ports what have you the radon nose cone the windshield wipers, the cockpit windows, the cat, the brush wing logo you see there, the Cathay Pacific billboard title, as well as the front bolt bin door you see there. All right, we're at the center of the aircraft here on the starboard side underneath the wings, and what you're looking at is the CFMI Leap Leading Edge Aviation Propulsion 1A32 turbofan type engine on this side of the aircraft, featuring the engine cones there as well as the side visual view of the landing bogey gears here on this side here as well, including the landing gear struts as well as the landing gear doors. All right, now looking at the uh, Sharklet wingtip wing device on this side of the aircraft, painted in green here you see the whip there as well, as well as the green navigation light you see next to this Sharklet wingtip device. All right, now looking at the back of the aircraft here, and what you see is the rear bolt bin door. The AFT bulk bin door, the retrograde ship number, the SWAT title, as well as the company logo, as well as the corporate brush wing logo you displayed on the tail fin of this aircraft here as well. Okay, before I show you this aerial aircraft model from the aerial bird's eye view, as well as the undercarriage belly view in full detail, please allow me to let you check out one feature, which is the rolling gears. Let's check it out. Rolls pretty good, all right? The plane does tilt, as you see, it's tilting by itself. 
The front nose gears does swivel a little, little bit. Not much. It does swivel a little bit. You want to be careful with that, though. That gear is very delicate. But anyway, with that said, let's check out this aircraft model from the aerial bird's eye view. Check it out. All right, now you're looking at this aircraft model from the aerial bird's eye view. We're going to start at the front as always. See the uh, the radon nose cone and painted in gray. Then you slide up that way. You see the cockpit windows and windshield wipers. Then you slide up here to the top of the aircraft. You see the high frequency antenna. Then you see the Cathay Pacific billboard title on both sides. Then you slide up this way. You see the anti collision beacon light. The ADF antennas right there. Another high frequency antenna. Another high frequency, and then there's the tail fin, and then there's the horizontal stabilizers right there, the warning information, as well as the little black dots right there, as well as over here as well. Those little black dots, folks, are called illuminator lights, and the sole purpose of those illuminator lights, they actually light up this tail here when it flies during nighttime. Now, let's check out the top of the wings and the engines. There's, a, there's the wing walkway, the top of the engines right there, as well as the top of the wings right here again including the warning information including the flaps slats ailerons spoilers what have you then there's the uh wing wing tip device featuring the Cathay pacific uh logo you see there now let's check out over here the wing walkway the engines then back to the top of the wings again with the warning information as well as the flaps slats ailerons spoilers what have you and then there's the uh, wing wingtip device on this side of the aircraft, including the Cathay Pacific Low you see there on this side of the aircraft as well. All right, now you're looking at the undercarriage belly view of this aircraft model. We're going to start at the front as always. See the radon nose cone, the crew escape hatch door, uh, the front nose landing gear door, as well as the front nose landing gears. And then we slide up this way, a high frequency antenna, the anti-collision beacon light, a hole where the mile stand goes in at, another high frequency antenna, pressure relief valve, the APU housing door, as well as the horizontal stabilizers underneath. Now let's check out the gears right here, the engines, as well as the wings underneath, which includes the flaps, slats, ailerons, sports, what have you. The retro ship number as well as the Charlotte winglet wingtip device you see there. Now let's check out over here. The gears, the engines, as well as the wings underneath, which includes the flaps, slats, ailerons, spoilers, what have you, as well as the winglet wingtip device you see there as well. All right, since I show you the aerial bird's eye view of this aircraft model, as well as the undercarriage belly view of this aircraft model in full detail, now I'm going to put it on that the nice little model stand that actually came with the model. So no further ado, here is the actual model on the stand. Check it out. All right, finally got this model on the stand. You see it being displayed in the takeoff landing position with now no hesitation. Now I'm going to allow this model to rotate in a clockwise rotation, looking at it from the port side. The tail cam angle, the starboard side, and the front of the aircraft and back to the port side. Check it out. Alright, and since this particular aircraft model has no gear replacement doors, I'm going to go ahead and take this model off the stand and go ahead and wrap up this model review, okay? Alright, the seating configuration. The Cathay Pacific Airbus A321neo new engine option jetliner aircraft seats 202 passengers in a two-class configurate cabin layout. Alright everyone, here's the breakdown from rows 10 to 12, which will be from here to about right here. You have 12 business class seats in rows 22 to 64, which will be about from here all the way back to the rear of the aircraft. 
you have an additional 190 economy class seats, which brings a total of 202 seats. And finally, and in addition to Shanghai Pudong in Taipei, Taiwan as the official inaugurated flight destination on this particular aircraft, Cathay Pacific currently utilizes this aircraft or have previously utilized this particular aircraft, the next generation Airbus A321neo new engine option jetliner aircraft on routes from Hong Kong to regional destinations such as Bangkok, Suvarnabhumi, Da Nang, Vietnam, Dimpensar, Indonesia, Hangzhou, China, Hanoi, Vietnam, Guangzhou, China, Kaohsiung, Taiwan, Manila, Philippines, Nagoya, Japan, Nanjing, China, Qingdao, China, Phuket, Thailand, and Chengdu, China. Those are the routes. Well, everyone, this will conclude this particular model review. I'd like to know if you got this model or you plan on getting it, if you can find it. Your only chance of getting this model, if you can find it at the time this video review posting, is pretty much on eBay. This model pretty much sold out shortly after it was announced or it was released, okay? So, with that being said, take care. God bless. Stay tuned. There's more model content coming. Peace.